Pastor Ezekiel delivered a bad news to William Samehiruto. Pastor Ezekiel of you know, New Life Church in Mombasa, prayer center, near Shanzu, uh, New Life Church in Mombasa. And he's, he's the one who's, you know, uh, he, he, he's the pastor there. And today uh, he came out and delivered a very negative message to Ruto. Um, guys, before you go on, take a time, subscribe, see my greetings, and like the video that, of course, we reach, we grow a big audience. Now, um, Pastor Ezekiel is a very powerful pastor in Kenya and very well known. And uh, of course, um, he's been of course uh, prophesying things that of course come to happen, and he's done a lot. And of course, whatever he says, uh, the public takes seriously. Pastor Ezekiel came out and reminded Ruto that Kenyans don't hate you. Okay, as you, as you see, as we have seen. Kenyans don't hate you. Sorry, Kenyan, Kenya, Ke, Kenyans hate you. Sorry. It's, it told Ruto that you are not voted in all because of the love Kenyans have for you. You are, uh, Kenyans were, you know, were, you know, punishing Ruto. No, punishing Uru Kenyatta. Kenyans were punishing Uru Kenyatta. And that's why they opted to vote for you. Okay? They had options to vote for Lama Odinga. But since Raila was being supported by Uru Kenyatta, that's why Kenyans, uh, that's why you know you you receive some sympathy from Kenyans. That's why you are voted in. And uh, uh, the pastor, was, of course, uh, uh, said that um, even prior to election, he knew that Kenyans hated Ruto, but they will vote for him regardless. And of course. Uh, of course, he continued by saying that in the uh, um, in in Moi's era, Kibak Moi, of course, fronted Uru Kenyatta to succeed him, but uh, Kenyan uh, revolted against Moi. Okay, and of course, you know, this made Kenyans vote, of course, for Kibaki, all because they didn't want Moi, and of course, since they didn't want Moi, they did not vote for Uru Kenyatta. I would, add, would not do anything wrong to Kenyans because at that time he was still young. He didn't even, he was, he was not even, he, he didn't have any, even the ex, any experience or, or any bad reputation. So even in Kibaki time, Kibaki's time, K K Kenyan voted for Kibaki. Of course, they had dated, no, uh, Moi. But in 2007, since they didn't love, they didn't have love for Moi, for Kibaki. They voted for Raila Moldinga. And of course, we know what happened. You know, you know, you know the skirmishes, of course, that you know <laughs> that took place. So, same to Kenyatta. 2017, Kenyan revolted against him. Now, um, it's warning Ruto. If at all you don't change your ways, people of Kenya will revolt against you. And no, you not like it. Not right now. I think Ruto knows you know Ruto is a smart politician. He knows all this. Yeah, he knows all this. Because that's why you know he's in a hurry to remove the four commissioners. He wants to control the ABC so that even if Kenyans will revolt against, revolt against him, he will love, he will use his own panya route <laughs> to clinch power. That's the reality. That's the reality. That's why you see, he's in a hurry to destroy Kerala and that the, the other three commissioners. Of course, remember the four commissioners, um, you know, rejected his victory and said that Chebukati was paid to do the job. <laughs> That I think Ruto is keen to clean the IBC because he wants to install his own people there. That uh, in future elections, you don't have to, do, to go through the same thing that he, you know, he, he went through in, you know, in, in August. After of course being, being having been declared the winner, then there's a certain, there's a certain, there's a team that of course goes out there and tells Kenya that you did not win. Yeah. So Pastor Ezekiel is. I demand that Kenyans will punish Ruto, okay? And that, that's why I think Nala Moldinga knows this. Nala Moldinga is fighting to protect IBC because he knows that the only way he can defeat Ruto is by making IBC deliver a free and fair election. Yeah. And feel like that there's no way whatsoever that he, 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 he will be beat Ruto. 
because that's why Lele is is say he said yesterday that he wants to hold demonstration across the nation in solidarity in solidarity with these four commissioners okay he wants to test the supporters to support not to abandon these four commissioners so guys that's all so Pastor Ezekiel is being since tell me in the comment section do you think Pastor Ezekiel uh, is telling the truth okay do you think the pastor is being political I would like to hear from you but remember this 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 are, this is a prophet okay who of course uh, talks directly the God now comment and tell me I'll let it from you do you think the message is clear or do you think the pastor is being biased I like it to it, let tell me and if of course <laughs> since your pastor tell me there that what do you think about this message so thank you guys see you soon in the next video thank you